Um, let me, uh, as all other presentations, I think we've been strongly affected by the COVID pandemic and, uh, and more recently by uh, the difficulties uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, Eastern Europe. But uh, let me begin. Next slide, please. Okay, uh, following, uh, where it's very appropriate that we should follow uh, Dr. Schmidt's uh, presentation because we view uh, space weather, or at least the measurements of TEC, as a very important component in uh, addressing uh, natural hazards and specifically earthquakes and tsunamis. Uh, and so, um, in this case, a real-time GNSS network, uh, largely in those areas most affected by uh, uh, tsunamis and earthquakes and volcanoes, is extremely important. And um, therefore, in 2015, the IUGG, during its General Assembly, uh, may, uh, proposed a resolution, uh, number four, that called for an effort by its uh, member associations and uh, and uh, nation uh, nations that um, uh, they work to develop such a uh, augmentation to existing tsunami early warning systems through uh, the addition of real time GNSS measurements. Uh, the uh, GGOS thing. Um, issued a call for participation for the GATU working group. Uh, GATU is uh, GNSS augmentation to tsunami early warning systems. And presently, that working group numbers uh, 17 institutions from 12 nations. And recently, we've had a request to join the group by two other nations, Iran and Russia. Uh, and that would uh, bring our uh, group membership to 20 institutions from 14 nations. Very substantial. Uh, the GATU Working Group organized a workshop uh, in, in collaboration with uh, a number of other associations. Most of the, those are listed below at the base of the slide. Um, the workshop uh, uh, issue, uh, published a report on uh, the uh, viability of, GN, of G2s, uh, GNS tsunami early warning systems, and uh, um, uh, published it in the UNDRR uh, GAR 19 report. And uh, indicated that it was a very cost-effective and affordable way of providing tsunami risk reduction, uh, especially to those uh, communities closest to the epicenter of a, of a tsunami. Um, also, it uh, recommended a series of steps to develop this capability. Uh, and that would include, and um, fundamentally, the development of a consortium of principals. Principals are those organizations that have resources to bring to bear on the development of a real-time GNS tsunami early warning system. We have planned uh, meetings uh, to organize this consortium of principals uh, for 2020, 2021, and, 20, and now 2022, but these were foiled by the pandemic. So now we are proposing, and we believe we can hold uh, this meeting in 2023. Next slide, please. Okay, um, now this network can, we consist on the order of less than 3,000 uh, stations around the Pacific, Indian, and Caribbean uh, basins. Many of these stations are already in operation, uh, and but they may need upgrading. 
uh, to full GNSS or multi-GNSS or and real-time operation. Many nations operate real-time networks. The problem has been uh, in collaborating with uh, the broader uh, uh, monitoring community uh, uh, in other nations. Many nations would prefer to keep uh, these data to themselves. However, Eastern and Southern uh, Pacific regions are uh, are really open to sharing, and and currently uh, such sharing is going on. Uh, the IU, ITU uh, has encouraged the use of machine learning and artificial intelligence in this effort, and certainly a number of institutions are beginning to apply this capability. Next slide. Uh, we've been working uh, with a number of institutions. Uh, the strongest in, uh, efforts are underway between the GGOS uh, focus area, geohazards focus area, and the IUGG Geo Risk Commission, which I chair. Uh, the uh, IUGG Geo Risk Commission uh, has resources uh, which uh, we do not have in the GGOS focus area, uh, financial resources, uh, which uh, makes it uh, much more attractive to work with. And in fact, the IUGG just uh, two days ago indicated that they would renew their grant uh, to hold this meeting of principles. Um, uh, and uh, that uh, that grant was uh, in response to an application submitted uh, through uh, five of the uh, IUGG associations, which include I, the IAG, IAGA, IAPSO, uh, IABCI, and uh, IASPE earthquakes. So um, very important uh, that we have very broad base support for this effort within the IUGG. And we are planning presentations at the IUGG General Assembly coming up next year in July to be held in Berlin. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so uh, just uh, this is the final slide, just a, a measure of uh, what we're planning to do or what we hope to do in uh, spring of 2023. We would like to hold this meeting of principles uh, so that we may include them in the report to the IUGG in 2023. Uh, the we believe, first of all, that we need to organize a, 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 or we need to support a, a from uh, the GGOS, uh, specifically uh, the uh, its membership, including uh, UNAFCO and hopefully uh, the uh, UNGGIM. I guess my webcam has been shut off. Okay. Uh, hopefully I'm still here. Um, anyway, um, and so uh, we, we hope these groups would be extremely influential in bringing on a commercial uh, 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 participants uh, in this effort. We will need uh, computational and real-time capabilities, and uh, these these organizations can help considerably. We will focus on Oceania, uh, as you know. Uh, in January, the Honda volcano uh, uh, erupted, and it was not uh, monitored in real time, although the capability was there. JPL. Uh, is operating a real-time network, but unfortunately, it was under review to ensure uh, security, the crypto security or uh, cyber security. Uh, 
And so uh, that broadcast was not made, but uh, the analysis of the data showed that uh, if, if in fact it had been real time, it could have uh, provided a warning of tsunami uh, propagation from uh, this uh, eruption. So with that, I will uh, end this presentation, but I really do hope that the IGF can uh, uh, play a significant role in, uh, in this meeting in the spring. I look forward to discussions and also uh, the UNGGIM for the Asia Pacific uh, could uh, be very important in pulling together the various uh, nations of the Oceana uh, to support this effort. And of course, UNAFCO operates very broad uh, capabilities globally, and uh, we hope they can be helpful as well. Thank you very much.